Hey, what's up, collectors? Jim here, bringing you another figure review. Today, we're taking a look at the Star Wars Black Series Ray's Speeder. So this is pretty cool. Um, I found this at Walmart in the clearance section for 35 bucks. It's kind of funny because I saw it there and I, went, I ended up passing on it. And then when I, of course, when I went back to get it, they were they were gone out of the clearance aisle. And then just the other day, I happened to be in there and they had this back in the normal section where everything is. So I went and scanned it and yeah, it was 30, 35 bucks. So, I mean, if you guys, you know, have Walmarts, check the clearance house. These these guys are going up in the, I haven't seen like any of the uh, Lukes, but I, they had a bunch of um, Rays, speeders. So I figured, you know, for 35 bucks, eh, you know, it's not too bad. You're paying like 15 bucks for the speeder, basically. But you get a very big packaging here. Very cool images on the front. You do have the open window that shows, you know, Ray. It is a big, huge box. I don't know if I can get it on screen. Top of the box gives you a little detailed look of the speeder. Uh, bottom of the box is just that. The one side you have the image of uh, Ray. And then the other side is basically just the red, you know, with the number three and all that. And on the back, you do get a bunch of pictures and images of the speeder, along with a little bit of a read up. But yeah, pretty cool. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open and check it out. Okay, and here it is all out of the packaging along with the accessories. This is a pretty cool little piece. You know, for what it is, I do like it. It, it, it makes a nice little neat display for your uh, shelf. We do get some instruction sheets. This goes over, you know, pretty much very, very minor assembly. But that goes over all of that. We do get her little bow staff thing that we get with all the Ray figures. And this one is the same exact thing, just a little bit different paint on it. Uh, we do get her backpack, which is pretty nice. I mean, it's pretty plain as far as the brown. Um, but we do get some green paint on there, you know, some silver to bring out the buttons and buckles and, you know, canisters that she has stowed in it. And I do like how they kind of did this design where they have these straps that just kind of fold up because it's pretty easy to put on her and it does look good once it is on her. Just kind of flip this around and then just port this right up the back there. Like so. And it does, you know, fit on her very good and looks good on her. So that is cool. I do like that they included that. Uh, we do get this piece here for the like the mouth portion of her scarf. It's got some nice sculpt in it. On the back, there is a kind of like a little hole for her nose and then a little peg. And right underneath her chin, there's a little slot. So you just press it right up on her face and it holds in there and gives her that look like she's fully, you know, covered up. So that's pretty cool. And then we do get the junk and stuff collected along the way. This is just kind of one big solid piece. It does have some sculpting in it, a little bit of kind of like sloppy black wash on it. We do get a little bit of gold paint here and there. So that is pretty cool. And this just has, you know, two pegs on the back. You have to like just kind of line up and then port in to the side of this thing. Like so. And of course you put the put the little rope thing up. So that's pretty cool. And then taking a look at the Ray figure, I think this is pretty cool. I do like it. The, the gripes that I have is one as you can see right out of the packaging i mean i just have all these loose strings all over the place so i mean i'm sure over time that's gonna just completely fall apart but i do like the cloth goods in this case i think it looks good it lays well on her i do like the um you know the the face sculpt looks much better than the uh, you know some of the other rays i thought this was removable but it's not this is all one solid piece I don't know why I thought that, but I could have sworn that I've seen this removed. And um, if you can tell, mine's not very centered. It's definitely way off to like the left side of her face. So that's a little bit annoying and you can't really mess with it because the ports are kind of like through her eyes. But, um, you know, nice skin tone, nice detail all throughout the, you know, scarf that she's wearing. You know, the cloth, the cloth good looks good. You know, it's nice to kind of tan color with a little bit of, you know, uh, pattern on it and everything. So, I mean, overall, not too bad. 
there's not a lot of paint really like pretty plain on the belt pretty plain on all the parts that do have paint on it but you know for the most part it's not too bad nice skin tone on her legs her uh, boots you know, a little bit sloppy paint kind of bleeding off but we get some texture on there a little bit of you know uh, sculpted wrinkles and lines and stuff but um, I do like the goggles, you know, even though they're crooked on mine. They, they look decent, you know. The green on the lens is done fairly good. Get some kind of silver paint on the top. And, of course, all these sculpted wrinkles of, like, all the knots and everything. Like, she's tied it all up. That's pretty cool. And, of course, we have the sculpting on the back. Got some green paint splotches on there for whatever reason. Of course, we do have her little belt and her pouch. And again, it's kind of kind of like the backpack, very plain, molded color with a little bit of extra paint on it. So it's not too, too bad. And then, I mean, she's got sculpted pants underneath. It has nice sculpt and everything all throughout it. And then even her undershirt. So, I mean, overall, it's not a bad looking Ray figure. I just, I just don't like how... Mine is so crooked on there, and I feel like the, the cloth goods in this is just going to eventually just unravel itself. But I'm going over articulation. You get a little bit of range up, a little bit of range down. You do get, you know, swivel. Um, you don't really get any pivot side to side. You do got your, you know, standard swivel and hinge. Bring it more than, you know, horizontal. We'll go all the way around, but it's going to kick out because the sculpt's going to bump into it, of course. Just have the single bend, but you get a little better than 90 degrees. That does swivel. You do have swivel in the hands and hinges. Um, you do get movement in the upper torso. So you get you know side to side, a little bit back, a little bit forward, really not much at all, but you do get swivel out of that. Uh, there is no waist swivel. Her legs kick out about that much. Kick forward, kick back, but out to an angle. You do have a thigh swivel in there, or the cut is there. This one's just really tight, but there is that movement there. Um, double jointed knees, but the, because the joint is so high up underneath that sculpt, you're only going to get a little bit better than 90 degrees. And then, of course, we got the hinge down here that brings her foot all the way back. Really nice forward, and of course, you do got the rocker in there as well. So, I mean, overall, I think it's a pretty cool looking Ray figure. I do like that but let's take a look at this speeder because that is actually you know the, the the main reason why you're probably going to get this it is a nice little piece it's definitely pretty cool take the, this off of here i mean overall i think it's done really nice we get nice weathering all over it you know really nice kind of like it's been busted up and scratched up and everything very very nice you know kind of more than you would expect the front's a little bit plain. There's, like, there's some sculpted dings in there. Not really much paint at all. But I mean, you know, we get nice, you know, like something hit it here. And we kind of have like all these scratches and black weather all over it. Get some paint details on the hook and on the stuff that's hanging off. The net is actually like, you know, a real little net. This is pretty cool. I do like this. And we have the different color, you know, patches throughout it. I do like that. Of course, we do have these pieces, which are removable. So you can pop those in and off. You got some nice kind of black wash around them. Very, very cool. And on this side, again, we get that kind of like black wash all throughout. A little bit of details right here. We do have this compartment here that opens up to kind of reveal the engine. And it's pretty much just sculpted nice. You know, not really a lot of paint on it at all. But it is cool that, you know, we do get those little parts. This back part, this whole portion actually opens up to reveal, you know, more. So that's pretty cool. You just pop that back in there. Oh, if I can do it right. There we go. And of course, this is just like the other side where this comes off as well. Pop that off. So, I mean, yeah, not bad. And then we have, you know, the part that she sits on. This looks cool, you know, nice sculpt all around. We get the little foot pedals and everything. Her seat looks pretty cool. Kind of has like some texture on it. And of course we have like the controls and everything that are painted silver. The uh, windshield. And then of course like the control grips. And these actually swivel. So you can swivel these, you know, back and forth like that. So that's pretty cool. The seat doesn't move or anything. 
And um, these pieces on the back, which have this kind of, you know, pretty decent little weathering effect going on on both sides. That's pretty cool. These kind of hinge in and out like so. So that's really neat. And like I said, with the, um, I think that was, oh, this part right here opens up. Just another little added feature. So you can pop that open and inside there you get some, again, sculpted like engine parts. A little bit of like uh, spotted paint on there. So that's pretty cool. And then of course, you know, you can plug this junk into the side of it. And then you can pop these up on these little hangers here. Pop this one up on this one. Which is much easier. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with this thing, but... So that's pretty cool. So, I mean, you know, for what it is, it's pretty, pretty neat. Definitely nifty. Now, the one thing that I am frustrated with is and it could just be mine maybe this was like a return or something but I mean for I mean really it's it's it, it sits like this just perfectly fine we do have this kind of clear base which has a little bit of like you know sculpted texture on it that might make it look like rocks or you know just uh you know floor conditions of some sort we have this little ball piece that is supposed to kind of click in here but you see the bottom of mine I think I'm missing a piece maybe maybe there was something that was supposed to kind of click into those two little things right there because putting this on here is very loose see it just completely falls over you almost have to like like balance it on there and even that I had it I had it sitting earlier but now it's not even trying to do it probably because I didn't have this on there so I don't know what's up with that my guess is I'm probably just missing a piece. Maybe there was supposed to be another piece that goes on here that, that connects around this ball. But for now, this, this stand is useless to me. It just is not gonna hold this thing up at all. So that's very frustrating. But um, now as far as how big this thing is, uh, you can see it's almost 12 inches, pretty much. You can't see, but pretty much from the front to the back, is pretty much uh, you know not not 12 inches probably like 11 and a half inches and then this way almost like five inches high so I mean it's a it's a nice little it has a nice little size to it but it does you know fit the scale and she will sit on here for the most part get her feet down here that's pretty cool that they have these little you know foot pedals Pull this forward. You can get her kind of, for the most part, hanging on to that. That's just a pretty crude example, but I just wanted to throw her on there. So, I mean, she will sit on it and she, you know, looks good on it as far as the scale goes. So that's pretty cool. Now, um, as far as some comparisons, here is the other Ray figure that I do have, and this one was pretty bad overall. You know, it's pretty pretty rough face sculpt on this one but um there's comparison between the other ray that I have here's the uh, Harrison Della here's a Han Solo here's a Admiral Thrawn if he'll stand for me come on buddy and here is a stormtrooper who probably will not stand. Oh, he is standing for me. So as you see, you know, it's gonna make a nice little piece up on your Star Wars shelf to kind of throw in the mix of your figures. It does kind of take up a little bit of room, but you know, not too bad. You can kind of put it at an angle or even put it, you know, face on like this, you know, so. But it is neat. And you know, you, you can fit other six inch characters besides just Ray on it if you wanted to. But yeah, guys, that is a look at the Black Series Ray's Speeder, the Ray Scavenger, the Jakku version. So really nice little set. Like I said, the cloth goods, I like it in this case, but of course, I'm sure everyone's going to have issues with it just kind of falling apart. Uh, of course, the, the molding on my head sculpt is missed the mark a little bit. It's way kind of crooked. I'm sure that's not universal and on all of them. The speeder itself, pretty cool, you know, for what it is. It got some nice weathering detail on there and everything like that. Gonna make a little, little neat um, 
display piece in your Star Wars collection. Uh, I'm sure the base it, the base issue that I have isn't universal, um, but yeah, it's just it's kind of useless. I'm gonna have to do something to fill that hole and make it get around this ball a little bit better. But yeah, that is the review, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next figure review. Take care.